Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, I've seen a lot of people with the question of about double cut lines. And what I want to try to show you here is why. If you think about, I hate this daggone camera thing. Um, if you think about a line and how it is in a, a raster form, which is an image form. Kitty, get back. This is just... I'm trying to get the camera a little bit better here for you. Okay. This being a single line. Okay, all of these are single lines. And these are all filled. Okay, this is a single line. But if you look at it from a picture point of view, this has an outside line and an inside line. Okay? Anytime you look at it, as a picture it will have an inside and an outside okay but these the filled in forms just has an outside why because if you think about this as a as a line okay it's like I stuck a tire inflator in here and just blew the line up so there's still the inside part of the line okay right here which is also this inside part of the line and then there's the outside part, which is this outside part, okay? So you still get the inside part and the outside. So there's always two parts of the line, but when you see it like this, it's, it's different, okay? So there's still the inside and the outside part of this line. Inside, outside part of the line, okay? So let's bring it up here on our scan and cut. This is why when we do images, we don't want them in the raster form. We want them in the vector form, which is a uh, like a single line. Instead of seeing these as double lines, the, the vector form will put it out as a one line uh, image. Okay, That's one of the main reasons that we use excuse me SVGs so let's bring this up here so let's work on scans and how to try to single it down to get a single line okay scan kitty you're gonna have to move move your big butt don't you bite me you don't want to use the direct cut let's just put it through here and always I always have the best results um, using the grayscale Kitty, I'm not joking with you. Move. Move. Don't attack it. Move. Okay. Now we'll wait for a little bit. I probably could just turn it off and come back, but we'll just leave it on here. Okay. So this is what comes up here. Let's size this up. Okay, we'll hit OK. And see what comes up. Let's blow this up. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually a single line. This is a double line. That one even looks like a tiny double line. But this is a single line, of course, because it's filled in. This is just a really bad capture of this because it's just the outside part. Okay, now in here, you can do the ignore object size, it doesn't matter. This just adds like a, what we consider, because I use scale, this adds your uh, like seam allowance. And this will add a frame around it. Okay, so we don't want that one. The scan to cut data, this is the one we want. Cat, you're going down. Oh my god, save it. Alright, so let's start the scan on the uh, scan to cut data. I find myself when I do my scans, I always use the scan to cut data because it gives you the three options. Outline detection, region detection, um, and line detection. So you can choose um, <clears throat> which one you want when you use the scan to cut data. 
and that one is the one where a lot of people say I can't get it to cut the inside how do I do that that's the big one the scan to cut data all right come on little guy hurry up okay and here's the the three options I was talking about the first one is the outline detection second one is region detection and this third one is line detection so outline region and line let's select this one. Oh, let's try to bring you in a little bit closer here and get this cleared up okay let's bring this in let's get rid of all that crappy background okay now you see we're missing the center of all of them so we don't really want that one but again this is a double line this looks okay that looks like they're single lines all right let's try this one all right that brings out all of the word okay all of the letters that's also a double line double line double line double line and this line detection that is a single line has captured all of the letters has captured a single line single line double line single single so let's save this one because that one looks like the best option out of the three we will save it to my USB stick okay so let's exit out of there oops Now let's blow it up and see. Let's go to two or four hundred percent. Okay, so oops, sorry. This one, <clears throat> the first one came out as a single line. The second one, which was the thicker line, came out as a double line. Okay part of the circle came out as partial double line that is not a double line on my drawing it's just slightly thicker okay the square partially came out as a double line the filled in will always come out just fine because it's filled in okay let's take a look at the word well that looks like one hot mess that did not come out right blown up at 400 percent but when we come back out it looks okay all right so that is how um, <clears throat> you can work on your scans and what the double cut lines mean and, and kind of how to avoid using them okay or how to avoid getting them if you want just a single line you can either do your uh, scan to cut data and import it that way <clears throat> or fill in your shape all right that will eliminate those double cut lines because what our scanner does the scanner just takes a picture of your image all right and anytime you have a picture that is a raster image and that will always show up as a double line it's the only way it can you know if you think about it if you look at this you are seeing a double line all right um, and also if you can keep them really thin because like this one right here that's a really thin line and it does show up as a single line um, so those are just some options for you um, if, if it helps you hopefully you know it does but if you have any questions just come and find us over at scan and cut canvas and scalp help on Facebook um, and we'll try to get you situated around okay guys thanks a lot